On this trip we pack hunting, diving gear, tents and food into the Camino and head for the coast of Fiordland. With a clear weather window and high spirits we hope to secure craze, power and meat for the freezer. Come along and enjoy the adventure, it's going to be a cracker. Uh, just before we go out on the trip we often like to um, just run through a bit of a checklist just a bit of a safety checklist just to make sure that we're uh, yeah we're all good we're going to be happy out on the water so um, bungs are in this morning happy with that engine started well check the oil topped it up so that's good to go cooling water's flowing strong we're happy there but first and foremost life jackets on we never go anywhere without our life jackets doesn't matter what size the boat is um, gps starts up everything's running fine there vhf's working all the controls and everything seems to be running smoothly so just nice to go through a bit of a checklist before we hit the water make sure everything's tickety good. Right, good morning team. Here we are again out on another adventure yep we got the boat all packed up a um, couple of days worth of fuel and food and all the camping gear and things and uh, as you can see the weather's a perla yep she's fined up it's primo in here and um, yeah it's one of those very rare occasions where the, the, the Milford Road's actually closed and it's a beautiful weekend the weather's nice it's starting to fine up on the coast as well and nobody else can uh, get here so we've got the whole place to ourselves so she's a local's day out <laughs> a good one at that man, yeah. Yep, Beautiful sorry. morning like you say. Can't beat mornings like this, but oh well we'll head out there and we um we went out last night and set the pots so as Adam said this morning we can hear the crayfish scratching around in them at the moment so we'll go check those and um, then hit the hills for uh for a meat animal. Yeah. Yes. Like the freezers. Nice, yeah, so what's the what's the plan? We've got a couple of days, what's the plan there Aaron? Um yeah, what's the goal? Yeah we'll uh Today is probably more about finding a meat animal and finding a good um, campsite and then yeah tomorrow the weather out on the coast seems a bit better so we'll save that for the, the diving. Um, put our dive gear and we'll try to get a power or fish a couple of crayfish if the pots don't work. But yeah just stocking up the freezers really. Yeah nice look forward to it. Yeah we've got a bunch of um, bush buck or sea buck wetsuits and fins and masks and snorkels and all the gears to try out so we look forward to putting that through its paces yeah. um, no doubt the water's going to be pretty cold yeah. yeah i don't think it'll be as cold as my uh as my tent because i forgot my sleeping bag so yeah <laughs> <laughs> i grabbed my duvet and my sheep but I don't, I don't know i don't think it'll do the same as a, as a down sleeping bag but yeah aaron didn't have a very good night last night he um oh, i guess we won't go into any details <laughs> but um yeah yeah once we set the pots we had a couple of beers and it kind of all turned to custard for Aaron but on a more positive note this morning he's got all his bad luck out of the way and we should be able to put a good put a good trip together so um, yeah we look forward to it we're hoping to get a bit of meat so we'll get out there and we'll go for a bit of a bush stooge and we'll try this um, prime one camo out in the Fjordland bush uh, be nice to get some meat some crates and power a bit of a catch and cook session tonight around the campfire would be awesome so yeah we'll get out there and we'll make something happen Perfect.
Finding a suitable camp, we were quick to set up the tents and settle in. Eager to hit the hills in search of a tasty red, we decided working up a good sweat before chucking on the dive gear and cooling off. So um, just set up my Horizon uh, 8000 two-man tent here from Bushbuck. Um, yeah, so brand new, just opened it up, pulled it out of the bag. And I have to say, um, it's actually, yeah, for the size and the weight when it's packed up, it actually uh, sets up quite well. It lo certainly looks quite roomy. Now, it was very easy to set up, so that's good because I'm no tent guru. So especially when you're in a bit of a hurry or a place like this, the sand flies are pretty rotten. You want to get your tent up pretty quick. So um, yeah, that took all of about five minutes. But I'll just give you a bit of a tour anyway. Yeah, so you got uh, two entrances, one on either side. One for each, um, with a, a vestibule on either side as well for storing a bit of gear, so that's good. You know, um, I'm in here on my own tonight, so I can have my gear on one side and a nice clear entrance on the other. So I'm just going to get in out of these sand flies here. Climb on in. Close up my door, and there we go. So that's it. So certainly plenty of room for me to sit up and get changed, which is something I really like. I like a bit of move room, a bit of headroom. Um, yeah, it's a bit awkward to get changed and uh, in and out of your cold and wet gears and stuff. Otherwise, so got my sleeping bag and my mat set up here, and plenty of room on the side for whatever. So uh, I'm going to be cosy as in this tonight, but yeah, no, it's good. Got my air vents open on either side. Other side door here and vestibule. Couple of little hooking points here. So I'll be stringing up a bit of a system here for my head torch and possibly my uh, phone for later on. Might watch a movie. Depends how many beers we have tonight. But anyway, that's it. Horizon 8000 two-man tent. All geared up. Heading out for a bit of a hunt. Aaron's on the gun. I'm on the camera. Let's see how we get on.
ever. No good. Yeah. Oh, well, we just went for a stooge through the uh, the bay here, and we had a big storm back in February where we got half a meter of rain in about 24 hours. So um, created quite a few slips uh, along here. So it's not like we're yeah, we're not. It's not like we're used to what we're used to. Um, all the flat areas have been wiped out. Obviously, the slips start quite small, but they they get bigger towards the end there. So yeah, a lot of the hunting ground in here has sort of been uh, turned into slips now. After a hot scramble through the bush and to our disappointment striking out, we were keen to get the skin wet and fresh in the lungs. With Craze and Power on the catch and cook menu tonight around the fire, we had the whole afternoon to make it happen. Little did we know what was to follow. After scoring a couple of power for dinner, we turned our attention to the craze. We knew they were here somewhere, it was just going to take time to find the little buggers. So, as you can see, it's female and berry, so oh, no good. we'll let her go, but must have get a cray anyway. <laughs> well done, brother. Did it. Up. Nice. Oh, bro. oh well, that's good. A few muscles, a few powers, and a couple of crows, mate. Finally. First one I didn't let go. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Good man. Right, better put that in the bag. <sighs> Nice one, brother. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus, don't let them go. <laughs> oh, bro, hold them up. Champion. Good on you, bro. That's awesome. Oh, I'll get those in the bag before you lose them. <laughs> All the splashing and grabbing attracted the attention of some of the larger locals. It's not often you get special moments like these, that's for sure. Once the dolphins finally grew tired of us, it was time to check the pots before heading back to camp. We were in for another surprise. Oh, there's a few in there, alright? Crikey! <laughs> big enough but that's all it's eggs so that's going to create heaps of crayfish for us in the future hopefully but uh this one goes back for sure so yeah, yeah. Nice one. got a sorting to do but yeah oh, got to do the right thing but too right we've got a good feed so yeah so we got a got a male yep so we got a couple of crays here um yeah there's the difference right there between female and male if you look at those pleopods yeah, it's pretty obvious. Eh? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? The singular ones <laughs> of the males and the, you know, more, yep. a few more on the female side there. So, And cool. you can see on the male um, last leg there, there's no pincer. See that? And on the female's one, it's got a little pincer on the end. So, yep. male, female. Bloody good. So there we go, we just got out of the water, we're getting ourselves dried up and uh, dried off and warmed up, got it getting our clothes on. Um, yeah, we spent probably, I don't know, three or four hours in the water there. Yeah. Just exploring around, it was good fun, playing with those dolphins for a long time. <coughs> so that was a bloody highlight. A uh, good few crays, a couple of power, a few mussels, so we got a good feed for tonight. So we thought we'd get out, sit in the sun and the boat away from the sand flies, dry ourselves off, get changed, have a couple of beers. And we're Dig your thumb right in there and push under the, is it the foot, is that what it's called? Yep. Alright. I don't know about you, but I like to take the tooth out as well.
Take that out. Parlour can be quite tough, so running it for 30 seconds in boiling water softens them up really nice. Next one in. Next one in. Right, well, we've got our egg mixture and flour with a few spices, the Cajun and a spice mix, so we'll chuck a little bit of um, power in the egg mix. And then into the flour. Mix that round. Look at that. Beautiful wee coating on it, ready to be on the hot plate. Sweet as, just been dropped off over to uh, over to a spot that we've um, hunted quite frequently before. There's a wee a wee saddle that we can walk up into and uh, a hill that we can climb up onto. So the wind's good; it's coming down the saddle. Adam's heading over the other side of the bay to another spot that we like to hunt. Yesterday. Um, yeah, as you've seen, all the bush area that we normally hunt has been sort of washed out by slips and yeah, it wasn't too much sign around so this area, oh there's a few slips here too but over where Adam's going there's none so between us, um, we thought, yeah, splitting up, probably the best idea to up our chances of, of getting a, a meat animal. Mother Nature at its best day, eh? it's it's just uh, you know the size of these trees that were once here that have been wiped out is just incredible. But um, yeah, a little bit disappointing, obviously now. But in a couple of years, when there's a bit of growth on these slips, I think it's going to be it's going to be great hunting. Sad, eh? It's not that old by the look of it. It's bloody clean already actually. And then chuck it on the outside of my pack and hide the hide the skull and uh, when I get back to camp um yeah see what Adam's reaction is. Righto, so uh, yeah we went for a bit of a morning hunt, dropped Aaron off uh, up here on the beach and I boosted over the far side there and uh, had a bit of a look around, a little bit of sign but nothing amazing anyway. Just came back, was just paddling ashore and I heard a boom, so I've come over here to investigate and he shot himself a tidy stag by the look of it. It's just coming out of the bush there now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's it for another adventure. It's always a pleasure to be able to harvest your own kaimoana 
a great couple of days away. Be sure to subscribe to follow our many adventures and look us up on Facebook and Instagram. Cheers for watching. Until next time.